Hello everyone. Um, today is DLC day. Um, we've got so much to go through. I'm very excited. There's loads of cool stuff in this pack. Um, so obviously this is the Europe pack. Um, and uh, we have got loads of stuff in here. We've got the animals and we have got scenery and all that stuff as well. And um, we've also got quite a lot of stuff in the update itself too. So um, we'll start with... I've kind of I've struggled how to lay it out properly, so we'll, we'll start with the animals and then we'll look at the stuff that came in the update, um, and then we'll go on to all the various stuff from the uh, the Europe pack itself, the actual habitat bits and the scenery bits. Um, so yeah, we'll start with the animals. So first things first, we have the exhibit animal, so the fire salamander. Now this is a new. Um, box I think, a new um, exhibit style with the tree in the middle and stuff I think but I didn't really use them that much so it does look kind of new to me um, so we've got the little fire salamanders in here try and find them, there's one they are very cute very very cute do I just pause it or play it? I don't actually know um, Right, there we go, there we go, we can see it moving now, that's good. Um, so yeah, fire salamander, very cute, um, nice to have a non-frog amphibian um, in here, so yeah, nice little addition there. Um, then we have the, the proper animals, ignore the food, they just had different animals in there before. Um, so the first things first, the alpine ibex. Stunning. I think from what I've seen so far from all of the animals they've done a really good job on all of them. Um, but look at this guy. He is very impressive. Very cool. Female looking nice as well. Um, yeah, really nice models. They've done a really nice job on the fur and the horns and stuff. Very nice. Um, I haven't got any babies yet. But hopefully we'll get some babies um, during the video and I'll pop back in and uh, show them off. So next, the Eurasian Lynx. Oh, we've got babies already, Jesus. Um, so, one of my favourite animals, the Eurasian Lynx. Um, they look a bit silly when they're like sat there next to each other, like intertwined. Um, but look, we've got little babies. They're cute, very cute. Um, so yeah, really nice job on them as well. Um, let me just see if I can, let's move on. Maybe let's move the baby as well. Yeah, oh, lovely. Very cute. Yeah, really nicely done. Nice um, fur and stuff patterning and everything like that. Very cute. So the next one we have is the badger. European badger. Where are they? Here yeah, they are. We've got a baby of them as well. These are really nicely done, these guys. Now, they, these weren't one that I was especially like looking forward to because I didn't really see them as a proper zoo animal. Um, and I, I kind of prefer the, the proper zoo animals. But they're really nicely done. Again, fur looks very nice. Model's nice. I'm sure they have some nice little behaviours. Although they seem to be kind of stuck in one place at the minute, um, sniffing and stuff, which is a bit annoying. Um, yeah, little, little baby, very cute as well. Very nice. Well, it would help if I press the right button, wouldn't it? Now, I think this one is actually maybe my favourite from the whole pack. The fallow deer. I think they've done such a good job on these. The male is absolutely amazing. Look at him. Stunning. What a handsome chap. Um, so yeah, male there, female there. Really nice. Um, we, we do also know we've got quite a lot of variations on them. So we've got um, the leucistic ones, the albino ones. Um, we've got some dark variants as well. And it's something that they, they've sort of added to the game is the ability to have more than one variation, which is cool. Um, so I'm sure we'll see more of that with official animals and 
probably people incorporating um, that sort of thing with mods as well. But yeah, these guys I think are my favourites from this pack. I think they've just done it perfectly to be honest. Um, so, that's our animals. Uh, but this pack is not just animals. Um, we've got, as I said, tons of stuff to look at over there. But what we will do first is we shall look at the stuff that we get from the update. Because we do have quite a lot of stuff here with um, with the actual update itself that's kind of free content. So, we'll go through them while, uh, fairly quickly. We don't need to spend too much time. So we've got a few additions for the uh, faux rocks. We've got small versions. Um, of uh, the faux rocks so we can do stuff on a slightly smaller scale. We've got the grapevine which is a nice, a nice kind of bushy, climby type um, plant. Um, various different combinations, some with fruit, some without, and then we've got a couple of bunches on their own, which is nice. Um, nice rich green colour there. Um, so yeah, that's quite a nice one to have. Um, we've got the periwinkle which is pretty nice and a nice little ground cover some pretty flowers and things as well it's nice to see some stuff on smaller scales small scale flowers because um, a lot of the flowers I think in game already are a bit oversized um, but yeah these are nice nice for as I said nice uh, larger ground cover and a little splash of colour and stuff in there I assume they're not um, flicks of colour are they? no um, but yeah it's like two slightly different variations as well um, in colours and of leaves and flowers and stuff. Um, next we have the dogwood was it? Dog dog rose, sorry, dog rose bush. So I've got one with flowers and then a couple of bushier types without flowers that I'm sure you can kind of dot that into if you wanted some flowers in there too. So nice not nice to have another like lower bushy shrubby thing. And then the trees we've got the Aleppo pine trees, that's quite a nice one. Nice bark um, and uh, three quite nice different shapes. Kind of top heavy, small one, a nice tall one, and then a quite bushy, triangular shaped one. Uh, very nice indeed. Um, over here we've got some habitat bits. So we've got the new burrows, which are very cool, and if you go down into the ground, you can see inside them and you can link them up to the cameras and um, stuff like that, your billboards. Um, we've got these uh, various new climbable um, natural tree branches, uh, which is quite nice, just a nice little addition there, something as opposed to the, um, the standard kind of um, proper like logs um, or like, poles or beams. And then we have these as well, climbable platforms, uh, nice and colourful, and a climbable bridge as well. So just places where animals can sit on or go over to um, different areas. Um, all flexi colour stuff. <coughs> We've got these memorial boards, which we knew about um, already. Probably won't ever use these, but yeah, you can edit all the uh, information and stuff on there and then have these plaques uh, in your zoos. Um, we have got, these are really cool, there's so much so much cool stuff. Okay, we've got eggs. Now, I've just been reading a bit of a chat on the Discord about why they might have put eggs in. Um, I think that's cassowary egg, isn't it? They're bright green. Um, that's an ostrich egg, of course. Um, these ones just general. They're obviously not that small, um, but they are pretty cool for like educational displays things like that and maybe it's a hint you never know um, to what we might get in the future um, we've got these things so I had to look at the um, the notes to make sure I got everything that is new because I definitely would have missed a couple of bits out um, so these are um, what do they call them planet zoo beam round painted which we had already but these are thin versions which I don't think we had before um, so that's nice, nice to have a, uh, a thin version of that because it's something that I use quite a lot actually, these uh, these small beams. Um, we've got these bubbles, triangular bubbles, um, an opaque version and a clear version. We have these which um, I 
I scrolled past and I thought, I don't remember them, but I thought I probably just must have forgotten them and because I've never used them, I just didn't know we had them. Um, but actually they are new, so they're um, single colour, like whitish yellow bulbs, and then a, a coloured variety, which are flexi colour, yes. Um, and these ones then, oh they are as well, but they're just one colour, okay. So you can have multicoloured ones or single coloured ones. Um, and uh, we've got various different sizes, lengths, curved, straight, um, and then like, arch type ones as well. Um, so that's nice, quite a lot of like nice um, decorative lighting in this uh, pack and update. We have all the foodie stuff next. So we've got the food truck, um, as we have seen already. It's a very nice sink. Um, that would be quite cool to take and to, um, to make its own little prop. Um, and this, this is quite nice as well, the actual wood on the side. Anyway, I digress. Food truck, so that's pretty cool. Um, we can use the uh, the new uh, shops um, to go into these, so that's cool. Um, we have these vendor stands, is that what they call them? I don't know what they actually call them now, but um, counters, yeah, counters. So um, we have them for a variety of different foods, but not, uh, not everything. Um, so we have got some of the drinks, some of the foods. Uh, none of the actual shops, like the uh, gift type shops, but we should be getting more of these type of things in the future, they said, so uh, this is really cool. Uh, gives us a lot more creativity on how we design restaurants and other general food areas in our zoos. Um, all of that, so very cool. We also have a variety of logos as well down here for uh, for all the different um, stands, so uh, just a nice little extra there. When we come to the actual restaurants, we have the new facility, which is the restaurant facility. So people come in here and they'd order their food and then they've got this uh, kitchen in the back, um, which obviously is a shell, you can design it exactly how you'd like. Um, they're quite nice lights. But you always go through and think, oh that'd be nice as a prop in itself and stuff like that. Very nice oven. She's working hard. Careful, don't burn yourself, love. Um, so yeah, um, they come in here and then I think they disappear through there and that's then they go to the table. I'm not exactly sure, I haven't used them yet. Um, but yeah, nice to have a, um, a new um, facility there for these, uh, for these restaurants. Um, we have two new seating options um, that don't need to be placed onto paths, which is really good. Um, so we've got the kind of booth style um, diner type seating and then the actual proper seat with a normal table and chairs and then we have also got this uh, patio heater which is pretty cool as well uh, keep the guests warm and it does function as an actual heater so um, that's very good and then last but not least they have done something that they've done in recent packs and we've all said is really good but they never had them for the for the other styles and they've now finally updated to have them for everything we have panels for every type of wall set now so yeah it's something they started doing in more recent packs giving us um, 1x2, 2x2 and 2, 4x2 um, panels of the wall set um, but we never um, yeah, we never had it for previous sets so they've actually gone back done it for the brick and the breeze blocks, windows, um, glass, all of the uh, things so every single building set now should have these three panels um, to go alongside to fill in any gaps and uh, make any slightly more um, tricky shapes. So that is everything from the update, amazing stuff, even if we just got that in a free update I'd be quite happy but we've got plenty plenty more. So. Um, we'll start with, um, we'll do foliage, we'll do habitat items, and then we'll do scenery, because there's a ton of scenery. So, foliage wise, um, no small stuff in the um, in the actual pack, so this is Europe pack stuff now. Um, but we've got three types of trees, so we've got the London Plain, um, which we'd seen in quite a few of the pictures, got quite interesting bark again, um, nice tall trees for lining lining different areas look very nice we've got the cork oak which is quite nice nice shape 
nice looking foliage there, three different sizes of course and shapes and then we have the olive tree um, so we've got four of these so we've got a very tiny one a kind of medium sized one a, a relatively big one and then a huge one with this amazing trunk um, which is very very cool um, so yeah if you're doing any kind of Mediterranean style zoos I'm sure you will uh, get some good use out of these um, so yeah a lot of nice uh, new foliage in the pack and the update Moving on to habitat items or enrichment items, so they're all enrichment items. So we've got the rubbing pad bark. So we do have a rubbing pad in general, which was the um, I can't I can't describe what it is, like plasticky stuff. That that one. Um, and then now we've got a more natural version of it, which is nice. Um, and various different things can use it. You can see a list there. Pause it if you want to. Um, to look properly um, but yeah so we've got that um, we've got the goat climbing mountain um, which is very cool and it's supposed to be for ibex and dolph sheep but um, I know some people have been saying it's not listed for dolph sheep but I think that was just in the notes so I think we need to wait and actually test out whether they use it or not um, but uh, let's move this. Let's just very quickly put some in there. How about that? There we go. Uh, uh, let's get some. Why not? Oh, that's one thing I didn't showcase. So this is where we can showcase the path. So this is the new path that we get. It's got cobblestone, very nice, very nice design. It's that kind of art shape, arched shape. Very nice for like rustic areas, little village type areas. Um, and let's get some doll sheep. And here, type of on the right thing. So, um, the next thing we have is the Scarecrow, so this is um, like a feeder enrichment, so they, they kind of put stuff in there and they will um, nibble at them, that's for the deer and the ibex as far as I know, but maybe they'll update to uh, include new animals as well in that, um, but we'll wait and see. Um, let's see, does that actually... Do the thingy. It doesn't say they can climb up it, but it is an enrichment item, so I don't know if it would show that. Uh, so we'll just kind of leave them there. What we might have to do is move them because they keep getting this thing where they kind of get a bit stuck in one spot when they first get put into the enclosure, which can be quite annoying. Okay, so. Um, while we wait for them and see if they do anything, let's just nip over and have a look because we have got babies of things that we didn't have before. So, fallow deer baby, very cute, very nice, similar to the female, um, but yeah, very cute. Slightly more rounded head, probably. That's what they normally have, like not quite as elongated heads. Yep, yeah, very cute. Um, we saw badge already. We saw lynx. So it's ibex. We didn't see. Baby Albex, very cute. Look at that. Little cutie. Little horns. Slightly paler face. Very nice indeed. Um, so, scenery. God, we've got a lot to go through, and I, I haven't really, um, I haven't laid it out in the best way. So, but everything here is new. So we'll try and get through it, everything. Okay, so the main thing with this, so we have got these nice lights. These are the very themed ones that go alongside the story that they did. So there's one for each animal playing an instrument. Um, so they're very nice. And let's look over these things. While we're on here, see a different different lighting there. That lights up, very nice. That's got fire. Um, 
thingy, that's nicely lit as well. Um, and the shop counters light up, these logos light up. Nice. Um, so, yeah, these guys light up. But the main thing that we are taking from this wall is the decals, which are amazing. So, we've got quite a few different types. Um, I haven't put every single one down because I think mostly they follow the same kind of shape and size um, in the various different styles. Um, but we have got like, every, I think I did one of every brick type and then the rest are just to kind of showcase the different styles. So we've got loads of different types of standard like broken walls um, for middles of walls and we've got quite a few corner pieces as well. Um, we've got brick, the normal kind of red brick. Um, we've got the painted brick, um, which reflects the colour of course as well, so you can edit the colour of the wall and the actual brick itself. Um, these guys you can edit the colour of the wall to match the um, whatever you're putting it onto. Um, and then we've got the stone, the new stone as well. This one, let me click that one, yeah. So the new, the new type of stone which we can see here, which we'll go on to. Um, so yeah, quite a few different shapes and sizes, which is really cool. Um, we've also got some nice, just normal cracks in concrete as well. These look really good. Um, a few different, quite a few different sizes, shapes um, of them too. And then we have also got some like um, normal like grunge. So we've got grunge decals, and we have moss decals as well. So these will be really cool, all of this stuff for adding some wear and tear to your buildings so everything doesn't look brand new all the time. Um, so yeah, really, really cool stuff there. Um, next, I don't think these were actually new, so ignore them, I think it was only the big ones. Um, but I might be wrong. Next, we'll just look at the wall set. I haven't put one of every piece down, but we all know what sizes and shapes they come in. So this is the new style, this really nice um, stone wall. Um, they are all flexicolor, so you can change all the different elements of this. So you have your background piece, um, which is kind of the, the cement in between them all, and then you can change the colors of various bricks as well. Obviously, you would either want it the same normally or just slight variations. You probably wouldn't want something like that because that's pretty disgusting. <laughs> but you get the idea. It's just to showcase the flexi colour. And pretty much everything, as you may have heard if you've watched other people's videos, almost everything is flexi colour in this pack, to be honest, um, which is amazing. So, that is the new set. Really nice. Um, I probably will be using that um, in my new zoo. I'll talk about. Um, how I'm going to be using the pack um, and the update stuff um, at the end. So, yeah, we'll just go through. I've grouped everything, they're just not grouped in a very good order. So, we've got a variety of different shutter and door uh, window pieces, which are really cool. I definitely will be using these. Um, we've got a hint, two different types of hinge as well, which are really handy, not just for these, but for other stuff. Um, if we're making implied doorways and things like that, so that's really cool to have them on their own. So, yeah got this kind of slats um, and then more solid planks um, flexi colour again um, as far as I know. I assume everything's flexi colour unless you check and it's not. <laughs> so uh, signs, animal signs, these are a bit weird but they're still kind of cool. The only thing I would say that's a shame is that we don't have a pre-made one so um, with these that you have to make them yourself they're all individual pieces kind of like that reindeer thing that we got with the arctic pack um, but there's no set version for um, like a pre-made one so you have to you have to put all the different pieces together so you have to make it out of the five different pieces for each one but still nice it's still pretty cool one for each of the five um, animals um next some more animal specific signage from the pack so we've got these kind of stained glass window styles again with the like the instruments and that sort of story aspect um, one of all of them and one of each individual and um, we've got some other just general small bits here as well with some different patterns and different animals and bits on them um, we've got the, the banners as well um, one for each as well, which is quite nice. Again, 
Are they flexicolor? Oh, these aren't flexicolor. Okay. Those ones aren't, and I'm guessing these are as well. Yeah. So those ones aren't, but they're very detailed. Um, we've got a variety of just metallic detailing type stuff. So we've got some bells, some um, brass pieces and different sizes, and then some um, iron bar type pieces. And we've got a, um, a clock as well that it can go onto a wall and be mounted on a wall. Um, if we look at the back here, we've got some roof uh, gables in various different shapes. Um, and you can edit the bricks colour and the limestone colour on, on those guys. Um, so just more kind of classic theming again um, to suit the same sort of style as the, um, the base classic theme. Um, we'll stick to these bits for now as well. Um, so we've got the gondola bits, so we've got the main gondola itself, um, which is flexicolour. We've got the little hat, and we've got cushion, which is very cool, because uh, you don't need to use cushions just for gondolas. We can use them for various different places within our zoos, which is nice. Um, and then we've just got these mooring posts, um, different things, for, I guess, you, that you attach rope to them. That's the idea of them. Um, but all flex colour and interesting sort of patterns, so you can use them for whatever, I suppose. Um, right. We've got these pieces. So these are bridge pieces, I think. Yeah, bridge arches. And then we've got the kind of stone trims for these as well. Um, we've got... <laughs> so this is where I'm trying to figure out my how I'm going to do it. I'm going to go through everything. Right, let's go from these. So we've got quite a lot of cool neon, like fluorescent, what they call LED, LED tube um, signs. So these will light up. So we've got these tube types, um, and then we've got actual ones that um, have like food and drink on, which are really cool, really nice and modern looking, um, and uh, various different kind of hanging things for them, framework and stuff for them as well which is nice and they look like quite nice little pieces so they could be used for various other things too. A um, couple of brick type pieces. Um, we've got some fencing, so we've got these um, iron fences, curved and straight versions, pillar, and then we've got these um, more ornate type um, ones as well, which are nice, nicely detailed. Um, we've got the new little planter. So a little planter box there um, with a, a new tiny mulch that can fit inside, which is very nice, and then a, um, a hanging aspect as well. Um, so that's really cool for making nice little indoor planters and things like that. Um, that would be really nice. Um, we've got some a lot more lighting stuff. So that's, that's so cool. It actually changed. I think it changed. So we've got candles, which is very nice. Um, candle holders as well, so you can put candles in there. Um, this is what's this one? Oh, LED light base, so that's something you can attach the things to. Um, we've got an actual um, lantern as well, so you could put that in there if you wanted to. Um, and we've got these kind of rest, uh, they're supposed to be yeah, ceiling lights, they're just quite nice big lights. Um, we have got the ceiling fan pieces, which are pretty cool. Some nice thin pieces, even if they're not related to the actual um, ceiling fan themselves, are very useful, so that's always nice. But yeah, ceiling fan pieces in there. We've got some um, more lighting up bits. So we've got some decorative antler type things and some stars, which are nice. Um, and we've got these fairy lights as well, which are pretty cool. And these ones again, you can change colours on them if you want. So it can be quite kind of Christmassy, different coloured lights and stuff. So very nice. They're quite bushy, quite quite dense. Um, and a random star as well. Lit up. Um, we have these shields which all flex the colour in various different patterns so if you want to go for that kind of medieval looking theme build castles and things like that you can use them which is nice um, go back to these bits um, we've got these various big like bridge supports there's a lot of bridge type things in here so bridge supports big bricks we've 
got this platform which is like painted brick um, a couple of like trim type pieces and then some wooden pieces that kind of cover the front of the arches and things like that all flexi colour stuff again um, various different banners we have in here so we've got the small ones in different um, patterns and sizes and shapes and then we've got the kind of um, bunting style ones um, in straight and curved uh, moving on, let's do the big ones. We've got the ferry and the coach, um, which are cool. It's um, a coach. Okay, so the coach can actually be open or closed. That's interesting. Maybe if you connect it to something, because you're supposed to be able to connect these to uh, put thingies in these. I think. Um, what's it word? Spawn points. So you can put spawn points in these, so they will. Um, they could, in theory, sort of look as if people are getting off coming into your zoo. So we've got the ferry and um, the coach, which is very nice. It's quite modern looking, all flexi colour stuff again. Um, we have this set. So this is the marquee set, which is really cool. Actually, and I actually will be building a marquee um, at some point for Whipsnade. So we've got two different roofs, or three different roofs, sorry. Um, two different heights and then a really tall one we've got a normal sort of side panel and then two different like trim type ones a curved one and a straight one we've got actual um, pillars for uh, like support beams for them and a couple of like bits you can stick on the top of, of like the uh, the point there that sort of thing um, which are very nice and um, quite useful um, and then we've got all these pieces so various different like trims, details, pillars, long pieces, um, yeah, decorative bits, all limestoney, all flexi colour, which is nice. Um, we've got the bridge um, itself um, in a limestone version and a painted brick version um, in both the arch and the flat bit, and then we've got this chunky one which they call the drawbridge so we've got in pieces for actual drawbridges as well if you want to have something that goes over some water you can have that in there as well and then last i think but not least because it's very nice the ibex statue um which is lovely nice like pose there really cool um so i think that is everything there see if our sheep are using this or not. It doesn't look like they are, looks like they've stood in the same place yet again. Um, so yeah, absolutely tons of stuff in this update, like it's hard to, uh, hard to comprehend it all because there's so much stuff in there and so much useful stuff and I think there's going to be quite a lot of people having to go back through stuff they've already built and add stuff in from this pack because um, it's definitely one of the most useful packs we've ever had. Um, the animals are really great as well. Um, I know they're not... Uh, some of them are very request, highly requested. Some some of them are things that people weren't overly looking forward to. Because um, they would rather have other species in the game. But I think they're really nicely done. They've definitely The quality of them is really good. The deer is amazing. So um, you definitely can't fault them for that aspect. Um, so... Um, in terms of stuff that I'm building, so um, I may have said already that I am building a new zoo at the minute and I actually did start doing the European area so I will definitely be incorporating some of these animals. I've already made an ibex enclosure for the mod but I'll be putting the um, official animal in there. Um, I am planning on a lynx enclosure so I'll be doing that definitely. Um, the deer I wasn't planning on using but I might have to at some point now that I've seen how nice they are <laughs> but um, the, and then the badger the same I'm probably not going to use the badger for now um, but yeah in my new zoo definitely I'll be using the ibex and the lynx um, and all the pieces that we're getting as well um, I will in terms of whipsnade I will definitely be having the fallow deer because we need them for the drive through um, the ibex the uh, badger we don't have at 
at the zoo and I probably won't use them as stand-ins for anything. Um, but the Lynx is another one. I wasn't planning on doing the European area, um, as you might know if you've watched the series, because I didn't... Um, we didn't have any of the animals that I needed, so I, I thought that would be a good place to do a cut-off because I couldn't fit the whole zoo in anyway at the scale I was doing. Um, whereas, um, now it's kind of a shame because we do have some animals, but yeah, I, I may do a random build of it at some point, but we will see. So, that is everything. The, the doll sheep don't really look like they want to move at all, to be honest. Um, let me just like place them over here, like, come on guys, do something. Maybe they can't use it. Maybe it's one of those ones where they say they can use it, but actually they couldn't yet. Um, but yeah, I'm sure we'll find out in our own time um, eventually. So, that is it for the European pack and update 1.8. Um, I'm sure we'll be on to speculating what 1.9 will be um, very soon, but um, yeah, for, for now we've got some really cool pieces, so I'm excited to see what everyone does with this stuff. Um, uh, quickly in terms of mods, it looks like they're not too bad, they might need a bit of updating, but they don't seem to be crashing, which is a good thing, but there's a couple of little weird things that are going on. so. Um, keep an eye out if you are using them for any updates that go out, if, especially if you're having any issues, and if you do have issues with them, please report um, what you're having issues with to the creators so they can double check stuff and hopefully get patches out for them. So that is all from me, I think, um, and let's go to my favourite now, oh, he's sleeping. Oh, no, there he is. Right. I will leave you with the fallow deer, so thank you all for watching, um, I will definitely try and get some videos up soon for stuff I'm building, and I hope you all enjoy the pack, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.